I haven't showered since last year. Huh? This video is going up on the 30th? What does the date have to do with anything? No, it's not a joke. I haven't showered in a year. My nuts look like fossils. All right. Weirdo. Anyways, today we're getting our battle rifles polyatomic. And to unlock polyatomic, we need to get 25 headshots for all four of them. So really quick, let me show you my builds for them. Here's my Lockman 762. Here's my FTAC Recon. Here's my SO14. And here's my TAC V. And this is the class I'm gonna be using for all of them. But there's a lot of headshots to get, so let's go ahead, hop in, and try to get these camos done. All right, I got a few things on the the ye old dome I want to talk about today. But I'm gonna you know try to stay calm. Last episode I got a little too too crazy towards the end. A little feral one might add well the first thing i want to talk about is there's been like a, a change to youtube's uh terms of service or whatever where they're kind of cracking down more on uh you know profanity at like at least in the start of the video which i usually try to avoid anyways they're also going after profanity like during the video this like repeated or it seems like it's happening within like every other sentence which uh, is a little concerning for me because if you guys have ever like seen like a whole video of mine, you know, like I start off pretty tame. Like I, I keep a filter on for the beginning because, you know, that's what you got to do to be able to get paid on here. And then uh, my filter slowly fades away and I just become like a sailor and I just say whatever comes to my head. So in terms of, uh, you know, this being like something I can do as a as a profession, which I'm grateful for every single day, like I'm glad I can sit down and just play games and you know, curse my head off and that's what I get for a paycheck. But it still is a cause for concern once uh, stuff like that gets changed because it does, it's not only changed for like future content, it changes for all content that's been ever uploaded to the platform. So luckily I, I have not been affected by this yet. I just wanted to put this out there, you know, preemptively just in case something happens so you guys are a little more aware of like the situation going down. So if, you know, in the future, if you see me like having to start like censor things, like not necessarily like completely taking out what I say, just, you know, censoring out some of the more choice words that uh, advertisers don't find, you know, very friendly. Just know I don't do it because I really care about those things. It's just that that's how uh, this needs to go if I want to continue to, uh, you know, create content. And, you know, money may be in the name, but it's never been all about money. That's literally just a, a name that I got when I was like 14 and I thought it was cool but it is a huge reason as to why I can sit down and grind camos every day or create content every day like getting a paycheck for it's a uh, big part of this being a continuing operation you know and I know there's people out there that are like oh screw the the baby sensors you know do what you want whatever I get that but at the same time if you want to upload on this website or whatever you got to kind of play by their rules at least try to try to you know play within the guidelines for a bit. And if that's what we have to do, that's what we have to do. I was thinking, you know, this isn't a, a real thing yet. This is literally just me playing a game and sharing my thoughts with you. But I was thinking maybe I could upload the, the censored versions, you know, like the just videos as they normally be, just me cutting out or not cutting out, just, you know, putting like a sound effect over whatever nasty shit I'm saying. And then putting like the uncensored versions either up for like members only, but I don't know if YouTube will like crack down on that since it's still on their platform. Or maybe just putting it up on like a different website, like a, a Patreon or something. I don't know. These are all just ideas. Like I said, nothing's like set in stone. I'm not actually doing anything like that yet, but if it comes down to it, and I start getting cracked down, that's what we might have to do. Oh, and we already have this done. No, we don't. That's just battle rifle headshots. Why am I always getting trolled by just random pop-ups? I have been doing pretty well on headshots here. These things are kind of nasty for them. I feel like we're already pretty close to having this done. Ooh, but you know, just kind of put the whole bow on that situation. I just want to let you guys know that I'd never compromise my form of content or, or myself you know, just for a bag, but I might be taking like sponsors or something soon. And I have, I've never taken sponsors on this channel before. So just to kind of offset the whole thing, uh, I, I ain't changing. I ain't doing anything different besides maybe I might need to edit some of the stuff out. I have 20 kills this game. I feel like I've gotten so many more. No wonder I haven't gotten the headshots done yet. I feel like a majority of my kills in this game are headshots though. So that's a really good sign. And we're getting a few more right here. At least one more. Come on, somebody give me top. I mean head, I mean headshot. I've used that joke so many times, it's old. And I think we got one on the way out there. Pretty sick. And after one game, how close are we to getting this done? Oh, literally only two headshots away, let's go. Very efficient today. And I think we're a decent way into the video now. And if you've fallen for my scheme, I've gotten you. Look at this. 
I know you can switch them to full auto. I've been known. In our, our last video we did with uh, the marksman rifles or the battle rifles, I think about a game or two into it, maybe it was a little late, so maybe that's on me. But a, a game or two into it, Oh, that's our headshots. Let's go. Switching to the next one. But I ended up switching to full auto on my battle rifles in the video. I even zoomed in on it. And I still got a bunch of comments saying that, oh, you know, you can switch these to full auto, right? So I'm kind of doing this to see who leaves a comment that doesn't watch far enough into the video. Or maybe people are just commenting that and then not really caring. Like once I address it later on, they're just like, oh, I'll leave it, which is, you know, respectable. But I, I just wanted to do a little experiment here. I want to see if I got some people. But now I think we're far enough into the video. I can finally, you know, you know, take off my tie. Fuck shit balls come asshole. Yeah. The other thing I want to talk about was my whole computer thing. If you watched the last video, you saw my computer crash like a bunch of times, like not crash power cycle. I keep saying crash because that's just easier, but it's not really like it completely failing it's that it's just like power going out on it and then restarting back up immediately and just to lay out all the issues with it and all the solutions i've done because every time like i speak about this i get like tech people coming out like i appreciate the help but sometimes it's just like oh this is just one simple fix do that and you know it's a little frustrating for me but i've completely replaced the power supply and the power supply is a thousand watts compared to like the 750 i used to have so I upped the wattage in case that was the issue and it's a brand new power supply. There's nothing wrong with it. At least I hope not. It would be like the odds on me having like thinking my last power supply was bad and then replacing it with one that's also bad. It, the, the odds on that are just wild and I don't I don't think that's true. If it is, then I'll fuck myself, I guess. But the other things I've done is added more storage. I, I've cleared up the drive that has my operating system on it. So only my operating system is on there. I've replaced my memory, like my RAM. So it's not a RAM issue unless like both the, the two sticks of, like I, the, I have two sets of like 16 gigabytes of RAM or each stick is 16, so 32. So I have two sets of 32 gigabytes of RAM, DDR4. They're both like the same speed. They match up with my motherboard. If somehow both of those are broken, maybe I should try another pair of ram sticks i don't know but i doubt the the memory is the issue at this point i also replaced my entire motherboard i got a, a motherboard that's more suited for overclocking meaning that it can handle higher voltages and it's like made for that just in case like the voltage was the issue uh, i've reseated my my cooler i put the right amount of thermal paste on there it's not on there too tight it's not on there too loose my my temperatures are fine so it's not overheating i've completely updated my bios to the latest version it's it's fully updated there's no issues down there i've tried turning off like the performance boost thing down in the bios i've tried having it on i turned off like xmp for my memory i've had that on i still have the same issues with all of it so i think the only thing i've i'm gone down to that i have not traded out is my graphics card and my processor so i think if this issue is still like persisting I might just have to get a whole new processor, which sucks. That's like one of the most expensive parts on a computer. I mean, I, I love buying computer parts. I, I have a lot of fun like putting together a computer or like upgrading parts. It's like something I look forward to whenever like, I don't get anything when like something new comes out. But whenever I'm like, you know what? It's been a minute. Well, let me grab something. It's fun, especially like, going to a, like a micro center. It's like a, a, a nerd playground where there's just all this cool technology everywhere and you just want to build like a whole new computer which i might have to do if uh, i still keep getting these issues so i just wanted to update you guys i i've done a lot there, there's probably some stuff i'm i'm leaving out that i'm sure i'll be reminded of by somebody's suggestion but this computer's driving me mad but enough of the more downer topics uh we got a new year coming up tomorrow and uh, i'm not usually one to do like resolutions because i feel like just saying the resolution is you know gonna stop me from actually trying to do it it's like this weird psychological thing i don't know if it just happens in me because i'm a dumbass or if other people do this it's like saying what you plan on doing gives you enough like satisfaction or gratification of actually doing it so you don't pursue it get the fuck out of my way little bitch like if you were to tell somebody like i don't know this is more towards me but like if i were to tell somebody like a video idea and they're like oh that's a great idea you should do that i'd be like yeah that is a great idea 
and then I never do it. Not that I even like do it on purpose, but there's something about like telling somebody something and then them telling you like that's a great idea. And then you're just going like, yeah, that is. And then not doing it. Maybe it's the procrastinator in me. Or like I said, maybe I'm just fucking stupid and I can't hold myself accountable to anything. With that being said, let me give a few uh, resolutions uh, for myself and the, the channel here. Uh, one thing uh, outside of the channel that I want to do is start eating better. And I've already kind of started leaning towards that. I got one of those like meal prep things. Not really like full on meal prep. It's like uh, just meals that are in the fridge or whatever, ready to go. And I just have to like heat them up. They're not like super unhealthy, but I'm sure they're not like the healthiest thing ever. But it's a, a huge step above me, like getting a bunch of like fast food or whatever is nearby delivered. And it's a lot cheaper than that, too, surprisingly, because that has been uh, a very bad habit for me the last like two years, like since the pandemic started. I'm like, you know what? If I got an excuse to stay inside, I'm going to stay inside and I'll just order some food. So that that's that's like resolution one. Resolution two, I don't know if this is really like a resolution or, or a goal. But within the next year, I want to hit 200K. It seems like a crazy number, and it is. It's absolutely insane of a number, but I feel like we can hit it. I feel like we can get there. It's just me trying to figure out the next step to elevate myself to that, to get that growth that we need to get up there. Like, how do I Viagra this channel? So that's just going to have to be me figuring stuff out, maybe trying different kinds of content, like different styles of it, and then like going from there. And... The last thing I really need to do and something that has probably needs to be done that hasn't been done on this channel in a long time is upgrade my camera. This, it's decent, but it's pretty ass compared to like everything else. Like it, it, it's a pretty good webcam. It's a uh, Logitech Brio, which is like one of the better webcams out there. But I think it's time I upgrade to like an actual camera. And I don't know if I should do like a camcorder or like an actual like mirrorless camera because I know that shit starts to get expensive and I'm going to need to get like uh like a dummy battery for it and like a cam link to actually use it on my computer but it's a quality upgrade I, I feel like I definitely need because there's times where the camera just goes out of focus for no reason even if I set the focus to a certain like amount sometimes just fucking adjusting and opening and closing like a prolapse and it just makes the, the webcam look shitty other times it's kind of like pixelated and like more low light which i mainly record in like i have lights on me and behind me but like i don't have like any of the lights in my room on so something a little more fitted for what i'm doing that way you guys can see my my ugly mug in a little higher definition maybe we mess around with how the webcam looks too i've been seeing more like square webcams going around and i think that might be a little bit cleaner because mine's pretty wide, like this wide. I don't need everything over here. I don't need everything over there. Like the background looks cool or whatever, but I feel like I, I can do it more efficiently without taking up as much screen. And then I can like repurpose the webcam I have for like different shots or whatever for like when I stream, I could have like an above me angle or something. I don't know. I'll do something stupid with it. Let me try out single shot this game. I'm gonna I'm gonna see if this helps out a little more with the F-Tac recon. And we already got a headshot. I feel like I'm definitely more accurate going for the single shots especially since it's the f tech recon is only like a 15 round mag so full auto i'm kind of just wasting shots not that that single fired little output right there was any better but maybe i'll take more time aiming maybe it's a it's a dumbass brain thing and i need to train it to be better all right fuckers give me dome there we go Ooh, and another one get tracked what's up pal are you even here don't care dome Ooh, maybe single shots to move, at least for this one. I know for sure for the TAC V, I'm going full auto the whole time. There's, there's no chance. Pretty sure that one's just default full auto anyways. What's up, pal? Lele. Okay. We got to be done now. Perfect. On to our next one, the SL14. I don't even remember using this one, to be honest. Let's see how this works. I have it in single shot right now. Let's use this for a life. Okay, easy headshot immediately. And I'm dead. All right, that's enough for me. Switching to full auto. I got the 50 round mag on this for a reason. Somebody's getting blasted and it's going to be me. It's going to be me. Oh, wait, we don't got a whole lot of time on this game. I got to play hard point. Just let me get there or you can have it as long as the clock stopped. But our team probably wouldn't be happy about it if they lost their lead here. Somebody should do something about it. If I can even get to the hard point, please let me push. We're making it. We're doing it. And we're dead. I feel like I can never survive more than a second on the hard point. I'll be waiting at this one. I'm ready. Bring it here. And it's over. 
One time I try to play objective. I got a whole six seconds on it. That's progress, baby. All right, we got like two headshots that whole last game. I need to step it up a notch. I need to pump them numbers up. So you're gonna pump them numbers up. I just watched uh, Wolf of Wall Street again for like the, the second time ever. Long ass movie. I fell asleep midway through it. A lot of jerking off in that movie. Like jerking off, cocaine, and then just random sex scenes. Still pretty interesting though. Not gonna lie. Speaking of interesting, I've been going on some like YouTube rabbit holes recently. And I think I've watched like an entire day's worth of content, like a full 24 hours worth of content on, on, on Wendigoon. Bro just makes like random conspiracy videos or like this event in history happened. I just like hearing dude talk. I might not believe in everything he's talking about, but it's still like interesting as hell. So if you guys want to just burn an hour, because most of the videos are an hour long, Go check out Wendigoon. And you know what? I'm gonna let the cat out of the bag. I'm gonna let you guys know a, a little YouTube guilty pleasure for me. I fucking love FNAF theories. I'll, I'll, I'll watch anything on fucking Five Nights at Freddy's pretty much. Don't know why. I never really played it too much. There is a few videos on the channel of me playing it though. But like all, all the times I've ever played it, they're documented. There's videos of it. Like I don't think I've ever sat down and be like, I want to play FNAF. But like it's so weird and so like crazy in depth lore for no reason that's probably all made up like matt pat's made billions probably not billions well maybe at this point i think his channel got acquired but he's he's made a fucking bag just rambling about animatronics and in a purple guy which is pretty fucking cool like it's cool to see people take little tidbits of information and just fucking stretch it i, I don't know i just find it really interesting even if i know it's bullshit or even if i know it's like dumb I'm still like, fuck yeah. Let me get some more of that. But if you guys have like any other channels that you want to recommend that are like not really COD or maybe even gaming based, I guess if it's gaming related, sure. But kind of like outside of this little community sphere, like let me know. I'm down to just like start binging some stuff because normally I'll just like watch the, the Pat McAfee show or something while I'm editing if there's like an episode I haven't seen yet. Like I think I've watched like damn near every single installment just because like the episodes are like three to four hours long they're just talking about football or shooting the shit or whatever i'll have time to like go through and edit a whole video like during the entire thing and i won't have to like tab out and go and find another one because for my little rat brain my little peanut brain to work i need to have like some sort of stimulation happening so like i'll be editing a video and then if there's like like while i'm cutting something or moving something while editing and there's like no audio playing i, I can get so easily distracted so I need that constant flow of, of audio going through. It, I, I don't know if I'm explaining this right, but just putting out something like stupid long like that, like that show or like Wendigoon is perfect. This has just become the, the ramble episode. All I'm doing is fucking rambling about nonsense. But that's no different from what I normally do. I'm still lacking on headshots. There we go. I need a few more. Let's huff a little crack. Did I really not finish that reload? That's fucked up. I hate how long the reloads in this game are. They are so fucking annoying. And the fact that you can't cancel them fucks up all the muscle memory I've built in the last few years. Because normally I'm like, okay, reload should take about like this long. So when I feel like it's done, I start sprinting and it's never done. And I go to shoot somebody and I, I, for, I haven't flipped a little fucking switch on my gun. Maybe it's more realistic, sure, but I don't think COD's ever been a fucking realistic game. And it just takes out that, that little bit of time. Or like that, that muscle memory that I've grown. And it's annoying. Ooh, forgot that at the start of the games, it's not already at full auto. But the single shot's getting me some headshots. We're gonna stay with it. Oh, we're done. Sick. That wasn't even a headshot on the last one, but it still counted, I guess. Onto our last battle rifle. Almost said marksman. What's the difference? What's the difference between a marksman and a battle rifle? One's for more long range, more accurate shooting. And one's for battles. And who, who gets to decide what is what? I guess it's more like standard to know like, oh, this is an assault rifle. This is a SMG. This is a sniper. They're all like pretty distinct in how they look. The battle rifles and the marksman rifles also kind of look different. I guess marksman is looks more like a sniper and battle rifles looks more like an AR. But what's the difference between like an assault rifle and a battle rifle? Is one strictly used for assaults and one strictly used for battles? Is, is that really what it boils down to? I, I mentioned it last time, but we need our, our JROTC kids to come out of the woodwork and let me know. They have like squabble rifles, some, some mischief mallets, some altercation ARs. Fuck, that's already a thing. ARs are. 
some sh scenario shooters. Like, come on, we're just, we're just getting silly with the names over here, aren't we? We just name them guns. And why do I keep getting put in games that are already ending? That's twice in a row I've been put on a hard point game that's already done. While we're finishing up this last gun, I want to get into a little segment I like to call Gamer Guy Does Sports Talk. And apparently the, the Lions have submitted, I don't know if it's a form or something. This is just rumors, by the way, but it's got a lot of people talking. Uh, they've submitted some sort of request to amend their uniforms or change their uniforms in some sort of way which is sick because the Lions uniforms currently are a little eh. They're like not the greatest. I like the colors of our uniforms. Like the Honolulu blue is, goes crazy, but they are not as good as they could be. First of all, the one thing I really want them to change is, you know, not to speak ill of the dead, but we had the fucking William Clay Ford, uh, the WCF on, on the shoulder of our jersey since like fucking Ronald Reagan was president. Realistically, probably like I don't know, fucking 2008. I don't know when this fucker died, but it, let's move on. How about let's let's move on because the team was pretty ass under him anyways. Like, I understand his family still owns it or whatever. But come on, it, it looks like it just looks dumb. I'm a, I'm a, I'm gonna be real with y'all. It looks dumb, but with like this new surge of like hope and promise here in Detroit with with the Lions like doing better, I think if we fumble our our revision of our jerseys that's gonna make it all worse but if we make them look fucking like sexy make them look nice then that could like redefine a, a whole new era for us so i'm sure you guys have heard the whole like look good feel good feel good play good play good live good live good die good whatever like you can take off a few branches at the end there like the live good die good whatever like we're just talking about football but the, the first few things there the look good feel good feel good play good i feel like that's definitely a thing like if i'm playing for the browns i'm gonna be a little upset because not only their name is the browns and they're orange but i feel like their jerseys at least in my personal opinion i know there is people that like them but their uniforms are kind of whack whack as fuck I, I wouldn't feel as good in that uniform as i would in like uh, a chargers jersey i'm pretty sure it's like maybe not unanimous but pretty across the board a lot of people do like the chargers uniforms regardless if they like the chargers or not so i want to get to that level where that's where our uniforms are looking i want to stay away from like the full gray jersey i think that's ugly as hell i really do not like the all grays even as like an alternate i think they're dumb like there's so many like better colors we could do we used to have like all black jerseys but then we went 0 and 16 so that's kind of like cursed but they did look sweet. We look sweet going 0 and 16. But I've seen some people or like some mock-ups of like Lions jerseys that we could do of people showing like kind of a newer version of like the 90s Lions jerseys where it's like, let, let, me, let me see if I can find a picture. I'll put it on screen if I can find it. But it's kind of like more of the, the gray letters with maybe a darker Honolulu blue, maybe the same color Honolulu blue. I don't care. And then with like still keeping like the silver lines on the side, drop in the William Clay Ford, the WCF, get the fuck out of here. Ooh, that guy sucks. No way I got that kill. And then having like a white outline on our numbers, like, and bring back the blue face mask. I, I can't stand it when, I don't know if it's actually a rule. So like, forgive me if I don't know all the NFL uniform rules, but uniforms, where their face mask is a color that like doesn't represent their team or doesn't like add an accent color to whatever their jerseys look like look fucking stupid like i a lot of teams or maybe not a lot of teams but i've seen teams that have like the gray face mask and they don't have gray anywhere in their colors and it just makes them look fucking dumb i think the chargers switched maybe they used to have a yellow face mask or a gray face mask and they switched to yellow and like the patriots have the uh, a red face mask like it would look so much better if we switched to blue i feel like that would make it look so nice opposed to just like the, the matte black i don't think we need to go too crazy with the redesign just maybe go back to what worked before and maybe some black alternates that's it that's all i want but also the lions play new year's day uh we're playing the bears now no disrespect to the bears but this is a game that we should win i think justin fields is, is doing a lot of cool things I think there's a lot of hope down there in Chicago, but y'all are already out of the playoffs. Don't fucking play spoiler to us just to help out the Packers. That's kind of fucked up. Not really a, a, a Great Lakes bros thing to do because I'm sure the people down there in Chicago also hate Green Bay as much as we do here in Detroit. I think 
uh, I speak for the whole NFC North a as it is that uh, every team hates the Packers because they've just dominated our division for so long and it's time for them to stop. The Aaron Rodgers is not playing anywhere near where he should or where he used to or where he normally is. And I'm fucking happy for that. And I don't want to see him get into the playoffs in a year that the Lions should. That should be our spot. We've outplayed them the last time we played them. We play again to end the season and it might be for a playoff spot, which is kind of exciting for like the final game puts a lot of stakes on it. Like it's kind of cool. But at the same time, I just want to, you know, not worry about the Packers. I want them to suffer like the Lions have suffered for my entire life. Give me one fucking playoff spot over the Packers, please. And let's call on this VTOL before the game ends. I literally just need five more points for an advanced UAV. Let's uh, stand on the hard point. There we go. Okay. Reload 15 times, I guess. But we got what we wanted. Okay, called it in before the game ended. That's sick. Oh, yeah. And while we're on the topic of the Lions, uh, Ninja actually has some, like, merch or branding something coming out with them. I I've seen some pictures of it. Uh, I, I just want to preface this with like Ninja has done a lot for the creator community. He's opened up a lot of doors. Uh, he's made it a little more mainstream and, uh, you know, widened the, the content creating community to a broader audience and just made a lot of things a lot better for people in my position. And also shout out to him for being a, a Lions fan, you know, through and through. Uh, I don't think he lives like anywhere near Michigan anymore. But I think he used to. So like he grew up a Lions fan, which is honorable as hell. But I'm gonna be real with you, Tyler. That merch looks like ass. I'm sorry. Uh, maybe it's just not my taste, but I'm a Lions fan. And I think that looks pretty fucking dumb. Maybe I'm being a little harsh, but it's not it. It's not it. It is pretty cool though, that a creator does have like a merch brand with an NFL team, but I just don't think it's for me. But just for you, Ninja, I'm gonna get a few headshots. You know, maybe it'll counteract it. I'll, I'll crank a few 90s on these guys. Okay, all right. Nice little double. All right, we're slaughtering now. The blood of ninjas flowing through us. It's coursing through my veins. I feel like a true gamer. Ooh, we gotta be getting close now. I think I've gotten like 15 headshots just this game. Come on, spare some head? Spare head? Oh, we're done, sick. They did spare some head. Let's spare a few more actually. And let me get one throwing knife and I'm out of here. Who wants it? Oh, missed. Is it still on the boat? It is. There we go. That's our throwing knife. I'm out of here. Try to kill me? You can't because I'm gone. And let's make sure that we did get polytomic on that. Sweet. All right. That's all the battle rifles. Let's go ahead, hop in game and see what they look like there. This is what our Lockman looks like with polyatomic. And honestly, the battle rifles, especially this one, were not too bad today. I, I called them mid in the past, but they're all right. They're pretty good. This is our SL-14 basically the DMR part three, the trilogy. This is our TAC V, very nice looking weapon, and it didn't do too bad for us. And this is our FTAC recon. Uh, kind of in the middle on it. I don't really like this one too much. Not enough ammo in it. So there you have it. We got all of our battle rifles done. Uh, I think we're officially halfway to Orion right now. I think I have 25 polyatomic weapons out of 51. So almost halfway like one gun short i guess but we're, we're making some good progress here anyways this has been a big rambling video so i'm gonna keep the outro short uh, i appreciate you guys watching uh and you know just keeping up with me supporting me really do appreciate it it means the most and uh i'll see you guys next time later actually no be safe have fun be safe suck balls all right i'll see you guys next time goodbye